ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm excited about this one, you guys. I'm excited about this one. It should be fun. I see all the comments already. Hey, everybody. My name is Deshola. Good to see you. Everyone's commenting. Some people are like, I'm wearing pink pajamas right now. Some people are saying all sorts of things. Let me say hi. Hey, Blue, Blue Spruce from Mississippi. Hey, Ash Pit 5. Hello, Swag User 49, some, 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 some. Hello, Robert M88. How you guys doing today? Are you guys doing well? I'm enjoying seeing everybody quote all of the random things from Mean Girls today. I love it. Look at that. That just shows. This, this movie's serious, isn't it? Hey, hey, Melvin. Hello, someone's from Phoenix, Arizona. Tosi, I know. What is the weather there? I'm in LA and, you know, it's it, it, it got cooled down and then all of a sudden it's hot. And like, where did this come from? Because this is not what I asked for. You know what I'm saying? Is that how you guys feel? Because that's that's how I'm feeling right now. Now, you guys know I like to look at the uh, national days. Today is National Techies Day. So listen, if you're a techie out there, maybe somebody who just loves being on the computer, someone who works in tech, shout out to you. And today is also National Boyfriend Day. So listen, if you have a boyfriend, hey, give them some love. You know, show, tell them you appreciate them. Okay, look, Lazy Susan says that's so fetch. Uh, hey, Care Bear 47. Hello, Ash Pit 5. Oh, thank you, Linda. Linda says she loves the facial hair. Listen, if you guys have been here from back in the day, I've been doing this for like five years. If you guys have been here from back in the day, I look a little different from back then. My hair was really long, I had like a baby face. You know, we, we like to change it up, you know? All right, so I hope you guys are ready. Let me read one more, a couple more comments. Okay, someone says, you must hotter than Phoenix. And then someone else just, they said, I'm married. Well, there you go. And one person said, no boyfriend. And it's okay, because things happen, all right? There's no one better than yourself. Now, get in, winners. We're going quizzing in this Mean Girls edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Now, you'll be telling your brain, oh my God, Danny DeVito, I love your work. As you play for the grand prize, you want to see what it is? I'm going to have fun with this one. There it is, $1,000, and everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice trivia questions about Mean Girls are going to split it. Now, in this game, you'll earn one, one bonus SP for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Now, if you win the game, they're automatically added to your prize. Otherwise, you'll have to claim them at the end of the game to keep them. Now, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you, my friend, can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize, either using SB or with a free rejoin. Now, click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins just by watching videos. Now, each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. So here are Wednesday's winners. Hey, there you go. Uh, now everyone else, keep on playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. All right, you guys, all right. Are you guys ready? I hope you are because you've waited long enough. So let's get this game started with question number one. Let's go. In Mean Girls, what did Aaron Samuels ask Katie on October 3rd? What day is it? Have you seen my baseball? Or who's the man? Now, once she's smitten, Katie Heron starts marking the important moments in their relationship, including October 3rd, because that is when Aaron Samuels asks her what day it is. Ah, uh, you know when you like someone, those things are important. 11,340 of you guys got the one right. You're starting off strong, and you knew that Aaron said, hey, Katie, what day is it? All right, that's 80% of you guys. You guys are doing something. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here is question number two. In Mean Girls, Katie Heron's family ooh, moves to Illinois from what place? Africa, Australia, or Japan? You guys, my phone failed. That's what it was. You heard that loud noise? Now, Katie is super smart. Thanks academic parents and worldly experiences, but she's also socially awkward since the cultural experience in Africa is a little different from the one here in the States. Africa is the correct answer. 10,186 of you guys got the one right and you knew that that's where she moved from. 
Come on, look, I'm a little surprised. All right, you guys are still doing good, but that's 71%. I thought all oh, you guys would get that one right, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's keep on going. Here's question number three worth one bonus SP. What are the popular girls and mean girls called? The pink ladies, the queens, or the plastics? What are they called? I think this is the one. This is the one you guys are going to get it at, right? Regina, Karen, and Gretchen are beautiful, trendy, and they rule the school. But their hang-up on surface appearances earns them the nickname, The Plastics. Hey, look at that. 10,153 of you guys got the one right, and you knew The Plastics was the correct answer. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, I knew you guys would do a little better. We're at 82% who got that one right. Now, 17% of you guys didn't get that one right. Rejoin. Take a second. You can do it. All right, moving on to the next question. Where's one bonus SP? Here is question number four. All right. Which social group is not mentioned during the Mean Girls tour of the cafeteria? Rotsy guys, desperate wannabes, or computer virgins? All right. So Janice and Damien take Katie under their wing showing her the rungs of the high school social ladder during lunch where she sees everyone but the computer virgins who are never mentioned boom Ooh, that one got you guys real bad 2644 of you guys got that one right wow that's only 25 percent of you guys who got the one right literally over 74 percent of you guys over 7,000 have gotten that one wrong so you know what you know i'm gonna I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you a second you know I'm going to give you a second because that's that's serious. That is serious. Okay, give it 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep on rejoin, 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 you guys, because I want you guys to get to the end. Okay, over 5,800 of you guys have rejoined. All right, you guys ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. You need it. All right, here's the next question right here. Here's question number five worth one bonus SB. Let's get to it. For which actor was Mean Girls their first film role? Amanda Seyfried? Tim Meadows or Lizzie Kaplan? Amanda Seyfried, Tim Meadows, or Lizzie Kaplan? Now, the Mean Girls cast is a murderer's row of talent. It's hard to believe that someone as talented as Amanda Seyfried hadn't landed any film roles before that. You guys heard what I said? It is Amanda Seyfried. You guys made your way back. That's 86% of you guys. Hey, 7,258 of you guys got that one correct what is up good job you guys that's okay one second let me see something real quick all right good job you guys all right so 13 percent of you guys got that one wrong but 86 percent of you guys got that one right so shout out to you all right moving on to the next question worth one bonus sb here is question number six so in mean girls what is the term for the collection of rumors stories and gossip collected by the plastics storybook burn book or mean book storybook burn book or mean book all right you guys so what starts as a cruel collection of insults and fabricated stories becomes the impetus for healing to begin once the burn book goes public People actually have to confront one another, you guys. There you go. Burn book is the correct answer. 7,033 of you guys got that one right. Burn book is the correct answer. That's 94% of you guys who did what you had to do. That's that. Now, that is the one. That is the one where you guys finally got it. I'm very happy to see that because it was a little rough. It was a little rough before. It was a little rough. All right, you guys, we're, we're almost there. We have a few more questions left. All right, I hope you guys are doing well. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here is question number seven. What song almost didn't appear in the original Mean Girls due to rights issues? Beautiful, Jingle Bell Rock, or You Can't Touch This? Which one is it? All right, so Damien's signature moment in the Winter Talent Show almost featured him singing Whitney Houston, which wouldn't have had the impact of him singing Christina Aguilera's Beautiful. 
Yes, you guys, beautiful is the correct answer. All right, 3,327 of you guys got that one right. All right, that's 47% of you guys who got that one right and knew that it was beautiful. But I will say that's 52% of you guys who got that one wrong. Wow. Listen, you guys, I hope I see that some of the questions may be coming up a, a, a little late or early. You know, work with us. Work with us. I don't know why. But, you know, have to, I don't know why it's happening, but we're trying to make sure that it gets on track. All right. So just, just give us a second. All right. Now, moving on to the next question. Here's question number eight worth one bonus SV. Let's get to it. Let's go. Which actor played a Mean Girls character named after Essen, Rachel McAdams, or Lizzie Kaplan? Now, the screenwriter was a former head writer at SNL, so, so why wouldn't they include a nod to SNL history by naming Lizzie Kaplan's character after Janice Ian? You guys, you get, oh, 593 of you guys got the one right. That's only 15% who got it right who knew it was Lizzie Kaplan. Literally, the majority of you guys, wow. Well, that's 49%, 84.9% of you guys got that one wrong. And you know, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm actually shocked. I thought this would be the game where you guys really just, just knew all of the answers, but it's okay because we have two more chances for you, okay? So let's breathe in, breathe out, move on to the next question, which is question number nine worth one bonus SB. All right, so who wrote the screenplay for Mean Girls and played Mrs. Norbury? Was it Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, or Lacey Chabert? Who was it? Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, or Lacey Chabert? I think you guys got this one. I believe in you. Now, she's maybe the most famous Saturday Night Live head writer of all time and has continued to crank out top-notch work since leaving. I'm talking, of course, about Miss Tina Fey. Tina Fey is the correct answer, and you guys did that one. 1,167 of you guys made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. I love to see it. I love to see it all right you guys so guess what monday's game is going to be a bit of a twang to it because we're testing your knowledge of country music at 5 p.m pacific time 8 p.m eastern time make sure to join us and play for a piece of the one thousand dollar grand prize because you guys can do that many ways to get sb from swag Bus daily trivia outside of our live games one is through the daily trivia challenge the quick hostess version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day every single day second is by clicking the more ways to earn button wherever you find it in the app both will get you sb torch or daily goal family to swag bucks when someone you invite signs up as your referral and earns 300 sb in their first 30 days on the site you, my friend, are going to get a $3 bonus. That's in addition to your 10% match you get from their earnings for life. Make their lives better while adding to your own SB total. All right, you guys, we are here. We are here. Yes, at the final question. I think we can do it, right? Question number 10 worth one bonus SB. Let's get to it. Who played Katie in the original Mean Girls? Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, or Sarah Michelle Gellar? Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, or Sarah Michelle Gellar. Now, she did come for our, uh, she did come back for a small role in the musical film adaptation, part of the career renaissance that Lindsay Lohan has been experiencing for the last few years. 